Hello YouTube land and welcome back to the Chaos Asylum. I'm your host Alex Payne and today we're going to do a first ever WWE reactions and predictions because I didn't have time to do predictions and right now they're kicking off the show with the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Is They're kicking the main event off with to What? I'm just going to pick AJ Styles because it's going to be John Cena, Dean Ambrose, and AJ Styles for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship happening the first match. That's right, the main event is the first match of the night. I'm choosing AJ Styles to win. Here we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we kicked off with the main event being the first match. Does this mean, like, later on tonight, like, the Women's Championship match will be the main event? That'd be cool. Um, or is there going to be some kind of weird thing going on where John Cena gets a rematch or something? That'd be stupid. I'll tell you that right now. So, what happened was, all three guys tried hitting their finishing moves in the beginning of the match. And... So, but all three guys tried hitting their finishers in the beginning of the match. Did not happen. Then it ended up being a triple clothesline. Uh, this match went on, they were exchanging blows back and forth, uh, AJ tried to go for a belly to back suplex, John Cena came running behind him and did a, a double belly to back suplex, uh, John Cena tried for a double AA, did not happen, uh, pretty much what happened was the double AA, uh, AJ Styles slid off, and then pretty much, uh, he got Paley kicked by... Uh, AJ and then pretty much uh, uh, Dean Ambrose did his lunatic clothesline to uh, AJ Styles. Uh, then they pretty much were just going back and forth on each other. Then the Dean Ambrose, then AJ Styles locked in. No, no, uh, John Cena locked in his um, you know STF on AJ Styles. Uh, he was about to tap out, but Dean Ambrose stopped it from happening, broke it up. Uh, AJ gave who was it? Let me think here. Let me think here. Uh, John Cena put... No, AJ Styles put the calf crusher on... Which one was it? Give me a minute, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta think. Oh. Hmm. We'll, we'll just say John Cena. And then Dean Ambrose came out of nowhere and put the calf crusher on AJ Styles. That got reversed. Uh, then... Uh, they pretty much... No, they, he had the eight, the uh, calf crusher Dean Ambrose did on AJ Styles, and John Cena came running in and did the STF. He tapped out. The referee's like, no, and the, and he didn't. Call, the ref didn't call for the bell. The bell rang. The ref's like, no, no, no. John Cena's like, yes, I won. I'm a 16-time world champion. Woo! The ref's like, no, no, you're not. You didn't win. And Dean's like, yeah, I won. I won. He's like, nope, you didn't win either. <clears throat> so then. What they did is just restarted the match. Uh, then the uh, match pretty much just went on. Uh, John Cena did a super AA to uh, Dean Ambrose. AJ Styles on the outside of the ring, grabbed a steel chair, busted Cena in the ribs with it, busted him in the back with it. One, two, three. AJ Styles retains the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Now, I think that the Roman Reigns... Not Roman Reigns, I'm sorry. Uh, the... Let me think what match. I think the next matchup is Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. I think that Randy Orton is going to win this match. Yes, yeah, you'll, you'll hear me like say predictions, and then I'll give you my reactions to it. Because I'm doing like a double thing on this one, so I wasn't able to do it today. So, here we go. Uh, Nikki Bella, my bad. The Randy Orton-Bray <clears throat> Wyatt match is later on tonight. Right now, it's Nikki Bella versus Carmella. I think they're going to let Nikki win because... They've been letting, you know, her, uh, what's her name? Carmella win here every time. Uh, I'd be surprised if Carmella won, but I'm going to give this one to, N to Nikki Bella. Due to injury uh, to Becky Lynch, she will not be able to defend the WWE Women's Champion, SmackDown Women's Championship tonight. But, Alexa Bliss will still have a match tonight. So in the match between Carmella and Nikki Bella, they start off in... Carmella is beating the crap out of, you know, Nikki and t working on her neck and whatnot. And uh, she's holding her neck. And uh, 
pretty much she did tried her uh what is it uh, uh Carmelo's like one move for her throat twice she got out of it um and then Nikki she was taking too long and she was complaining and then Nikki hit her like a a r k o one two three Nikki wins the match and uh you can help it. You had to give Dolph opportunity after opportunity, opportunity. to watch you fail each and every, every time. time. Much, Much like, like your in career. career. Oh, that's what he said to Daniel. Daniel's like, I'm gonna kick your ass, bitch. You to have a night to come in this night. Tonight, both you will be retired. retired. Now, now we'll do the, oh, actually, no, 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 uh, after I'm trying to know, day 188, there's no championship or tour. I want to renegotiate my contract. In fact, once Ben Fon, Don Ziggler, Whoa, well. Say I do, Maurice. I do. I do. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So that was a little thing with between. That was between me. I was just me mumbling and stuff. I apologize for that. <laughs> but yeah, I guess uh, Don, Daniel Bryan and uh, Shane was talking about how good Nikki was doing, and then Miz barges in and pretty much, you know, was saying, "Oh, well, I hope you guys like what's gonna happen to Dolph Ziggler since." He'll be the one that will lose the match and will not be retired like you, Daniel. And when you, and when I retain on 183 days of the Miz Intercontinental World Tour, I want to renegotiate my contract once again because there'll be some free money laying around because Dolph Ziggler ain't there. So, there we go. Next matchup is the Usos taking on the Beauty and the Beast uh, for the WWE SmackDown Tag Championships. Rhino and Heath Slater taking on the Usos. I'm predicting that Rhino and Heath Slater is going to retain the tag titles. Well, the tag team match just ended, and they started off with pretty much Heath Slater in the ring. They were beating the crap out of him. Uh, he finally got a tag. To Rhino, Rhino got in, uh, he started getting a couple moves in, they started beating him down. Tag T Slater back in, he Slater's on fire doing moves and whatnot, his like clothes lines of uh, suplexes, a, a power slam from the top rope, which was crazy as hell. Um, then he gets finally super kicked, uh, then they do that one thing where he ran and jumped in, in his back leg and then to put the submission move on him. Rhino gores Jay Uso gets the ring, hits the ropes, <clears throat> and then uh, nails Jay with a clothesline. Uh, gets tagged in, gores him. One, two, three. Dean Ambrose and not Dean Ambrose. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, Bray White's talking. Um, Oh god, I'm so tired. I'm sorry. Uh, so Rhino and he said to retain the tag titles. And now Bray Wyatt's talking. Bray Wyatt was just mumbling on, and then he's like, <laughs> He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. <laughs> Rematch from SmackDown, because controversy at the end of the Jack Swagger versus Corbin match. And if you don't know what happened, it very much what happened is, uh, Jack Swagger put Corbin in the Patriot Lock, and he was reaching for the ropes, and his hand was doing this, and then the ref thought he tapped out and rung the bell. So now it's a rematch between Corbin and... And Jack Swagger, which I think they'll give to, uh, you know, probably, what's his name, uh, Corbin. So, there we go. So, 
So, Jack Swagger is in the ring. He's dominating a little bit. And then Corbin throws him on the outside. Uh, he puts his hand where the steps are. Corbin hits the steps and his hands were trapped. So he hurt his hand. And then Corbin worked on it very, very well during the whole match. Uh, hit a couple moves to reverse. Um, and then, uh, the way Corbin won this match is that he poked Jack in the eye. And then hit his, uh, what's it called? Uh, end of days. One, two, three. Corbin wins the match. There we go. Now the next matchup will be Dolph Ziggler putting his career on the line. Putting his career on the line against The Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. So what this pretty much means, ladies and gentlemen, if Miz retains the championship, Dolph Ziggler is gone. He's retired. If Dolph Ziggler wins, he keeps his career and becomes a new Intercontinental Champion. I'm going with The Miz winning the Intercontinental Championship. I mean... Dolph Ziggler to win the Intercontinental Championship. What is up, everybody? Man, this is so awesome. So, the, the Miz, the Intercontinental Champion, taking on <clears throat> Dolph Ziggler with his career on the line and everything. So, this match was pretty good. It was going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, Miz worked on uh, Dolph Ziggler's leg. He tried to hit the Skull Crusher finale a couple times. Uh, there's a couple times where he hit the Skull Crushing Finale, and the Dolph Ziggler kicked out. Uh, figure four, reverse, 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 to the ropes. Uh, Maurice sprayed Dolph Ziggler in the face with the thing. Uh, Dolph, and then he did the Skull Crushing Finale, one, two, put his foot on the rope. Uh, even a Spirit Squad came out, the referee injected Maurice in the Spirit Squad. Uh, Miz turned around, super kick for the second time. One, two, three, your winner. Like I said, and new Intercontinental Champion, Dolph Ziggler. Woo! So, it's going to be Alexa Bliss, because Alexa Bliss is like, the real reason why she's not here because she has a hangnail. Her orange hair fell out. <laughs> then she don't want to face me. There's no woman in the back that's going to want to face me. Who comes out? Naomi. So, it's going to be Naomi taking on Alexa Bliss. And I'm going to say Alexa Bliss is going to win this match. Here we go. So, pretty much, the Naomi <clears throat> Alexa Bliss match went on, and Alexa Bliss was doing pretty good. She was dominating half of this match, and then uh, Naomi came back with a couple moves uh, and whatnot. Nothing phenomenal, just in the end, she went for a cross arm breaker, roll up, one, two, three, and Naomi wins. I got one wrong. So, does this mean now when Becky Lynch comes back, does that mean that it's going to be a triple threat match for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship? We'll see. Maybe it's the main event time. Wow, Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt was a great match. Rand, like Bray Wyatt did very good. Like he just legit was destroying Randy Orton. Uh, he tried for that backsplash more than once. He tried it on from the middle rope, missed. He tried to he put Randy Orton on um, some steel steps, missed. He uh, tried for Sister Abigail, reversed. Uh, RKO, reversed. Power slam, scoop slams. Uh, bouncing each other's heads off the freaking, you know, <clears throat> announcer tables and stuff. In the end, Randy Orton did his spike DDT, getting ready to do his RKO. He's like, come on, come on, come on. And next thing you know, he's like, da Went all dark. And then, sha da Took the hood off. Who was it? The return of Luke Harper. He's like, ha, 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 ha. Turns around, Sister Abigail, one, two, three, Bray Wyatt wins. That was your main event for No Mercy. What did you think? Did you like No Mercy? Did you think No Mercy sucked? Leave it in the comments below. So, leave a comment, hit the like button, and if you haven't done it already, smash that subscribe button. Later.